Hello everybody, welcome back. Do you feel like you need a drink today? Maybe a glass of wine? I think you deserve it. I mean, if you're of legal drinking age, of course. And uh, we're gonna do something a little special today, a little different. Chateau St. Michel, Indian Wells. That's a, an important stamp there for them. Merlot, 2016. So uh, Chateau St. Michel is the oldest vineyard in Washington state, believe it or not. Uh, they're on over a hundred acres of land. And as you can see today, we're, uh, we're just getting right into this bottle. They have uh, multiple vineyards that they get their grapes from. Indian Wells is a special line for them. Uh, they look for grapes that are, uh, the red grapes that are in warmer, um, hotter locations inside of Washington State. And what that's supposed to do, and what I'm smelling right away, is uh, a much more intense, uh, jammy scent. It smells like very, very ripe fruit. Very nicely done cork. I like when they put the little bit of stuff on there, little extra uh, branding, makes it feel like a much more high-end experience. It's probably gonna need to open up a little bit. Look at how bright that looks, how dark. It looks intense. I can smell a little bit of spice and, and vanilla. It's probably from the 51% uh, new American and, and French oak barrels that they aged this in. Let's give it a little swirl here, just to open it up. Those bubbles are fine. I can still see the alcohol rim. It means there's alcohol in here. It's good. 14 and a half percent by uh, by the bottle. Well, pretty good for Merlot. Yeah, it's, it's got a very very jammy, uh, but yet intense flavor. I would say, um, you know, along with the the vanilla scent. There is a, a, a almost like a leatherish and a blackberry for sure. Now I'm getting some cherry, some rich cherry, like a, like a black cherry flavor coming in on there. It's bold. It's a bold Merlot. It's a little dry. It's not sweet. This is a very high quality product uh, and it's earned that Indian Wells label for sure. So this is Merlot with a, a touch of Syrah. And I think that's where that additional fruit is coming from as far as uh, um, has the complexity opens up in, in, on your tongue. This would pair very well with meat dishes. It would pair very well with a, an open hand and an empty glass. Pour it in, take a sip. Wow. Ah. Bob, you did a good job. Bob Berthau, the head winemaker over at uh, Chateau St. Michel. Uh, I know he overlooks a lot of the Indian Wells versions and uh, you should be very proud of this one. It's what, uh, 2016, so it's uh, almost five years old. We don't really age Merlots, so it's lucky that we found this one and it's in perfect condition. Um, wish I could share this with you guys, but uh, I'm gonna cozy up with this glass. We're gonna catch a buzz with the cuz. You're gonna to subscribe to this channel because we have a ton of new stuff coming in. Uh, we were on beer, now we're on wine. We have some really special um, spirits that we're going to uh, walk through. Not ghost and goblin spirits, I'm talking about uh, tequila, bourbon, whiskey, gin, vodka, you name it. Uh, we're gonna to try to do it all, uh, at least, uh, as much as we can, as much as you're willing to consume, we'll put that content out there. Uh, comment below, tell me what you like. Do you like Merlot? I usually don't order Merlots first. I, I'm a, a more of a Cabernet or even a Super Tuscan uh, fan. But as far as this is concerned, Bordeaux, this is a very, very strong offering. I, I would say it's pretty similar uh, in, a, in a blend to like Intrinsic right, or, or uh, Columbia Crest is another one from the same region. Just high, high quality. And uh, I paid a couple extra bucks for the Indian Wells label. 
And what I mean by that is, you know, this was like 12 or $13. Outstanding value. Take this to a party. Uh, you'll be somewhat of a hero for, uh, for the red wine drinkers. And uh, cheers. Thanks. We'll, uh, we'll catch up again soon, maybe next week.